horrific crime was committed last night, someone broke into the police station and stole all the toilets. Police say they have nothing to go on. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my Let's Play. My name's Babs. Um, if you didn't check out the last episode, I think it turned out great. It's probably one of the best um, episodes of the series so far. So make sure you check that out. Um, also, I need to turn down my microphone just a little bit. All right, let's hop into this. Let's read these headlines. Uh, you guys know the drill. Rogers is responsible for Freeburg PD breakdown. Uh, I don't remember who Rogers is. Frank? Am I Frank? Am I Rogers? No, I'm not. My last name's not Rogers. Is it Mayor? That's the mayor, I believe. All right. Representative of Orthodox Church may appear in Freeburg. Hmm. Uh, mayor Rogers, I will bring order to the police station. Yeah, Mayor Rogers, Rogers. Okay. I will bring order to the police station. What am I? What it needs ordered? What did I do? What? What? Tell me. What order? Bring order. Bring order to my ignition on my car. Third time's the charm. Nice clutch. Mole, today's a great day. It's the day of my daughter's wedding. No way can I miss the ceremony. Can I take some time off? Yeah, that's that's a good excuse. Right there. Although you should have told me ahead of time. It's a little bit inconsiderate of you, Mole. Take the day off, though. I have tons of detectives. Um, I need to hire a cop because somebody quit. Austin quit. Not uh, not this Austin, a different Austin. Um, the female. I think her name was Austin. But that's on the other shift. Um, shoot. Do we want to buy a new a new song? Um, clarinet sugar by Bob Bernard. Sure, why not? Clarinet sugar. Oops. Put it on. Let's go. Ooh, peppy. All right, from City Hall, a penalty because they're racist and pathetic. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of Freeburg PD. We're cutting the department's budget. Well, that's one way to make it do better is to cut its budget. Yes. You lose one job slot. Removing an occupied slot will automatically fire an employee. Well, somebody just quit, so... Why do I... What? I might fire this guy. He's always tired. Um... So it doesn't really count for the person that just quit? I have an empty slot. Okay. Cool. I didn't have to fire anybody because that person quit. Nice. Um, this music's a little loud and I'm a little bit worried about copyright claims. So I'm going to turn it down just a hair more. <laughs> this literally does nothing. Like, can you imagine if I had that 100% how loud that would be? What? What? Okay. Um, let's see. The suburb. Receiving stolen property. A year ago, Ning became owner of the house. The home was listed as a gift on his tax return. So she is... I thought we did this yesterday. Well, this sucks. We already did this, I swear. What? I can send SWAT? We'll send SWAT. I don't know what's going to happen. They're going to go without a detective? I can't send somebody in her place? Oh, well, that sucks. Um, well, I'll send Kochi and Yancey. We'll send Austin. Without a lead detective, there's a lower chance of success. Are you sure you want to send the cops in alone? I mean, I guess. I, I, yes, I'm sending SWAT. Uh, can I wait? I swear I just did this yesterday. Am I crazy? I'll have to go back and look and see what happened there. I know I didn't send SWAT, but I thought I already did this. 
Um, I don't know. What should I do, guys? I don't want this guy to get away, but at the same time, I'm on a deadline here. This is why deadlines are destructive in most uh, scenarios, and I try not to hand them out in my work. Attempted murder. Sometimes your officers will arrest only one or two criminals, but when they're taking down a whole group, it's better to bring a paddy wagon. A truly professional staff can cope without the need for special transport, but most officers prefer a paddy wagon when the situation calls for it. Too bad the department doesn't have the money for one. Yeah, too bad. One cop? Sorry, I had to pause the recording there to blow my nose. Um, yeah, so we don't have a paddy wagon. I don't even remember seeing an option to get a paddy wagon. All right. An ice cream van struck a schoolboy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was declared dead on the scene. Rip. That sucks. The nearby residents are enraged and demand justice from the driver of the van. He's cur currently holed up inside the ambulance. While the paramedics try to reason with the crowd, the situation is quickly spiraling it out of control. That's weird. I can send one cop. Um... So do we send Purdy in on her own or Yancey or Huang? So we'll send Purdy. See what happens there without the paddy wagon. All right. Oh, 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 sweet. Nice. Good job, Smutty. I completely forgot that I could do that. Actually, I need to do that. Let's try a barbecue. Let's see what happens when I do a barbecue. Let's send Yancey, Subaki, and Huang. Oops. Uh, Subaki. Get an Armstrong. It's an Armstrong. Why not? And ooh, hire a snitch. Pay an employee to gather important information for you. I kind of like the idea of having a snitch. Um. Let's send, does this person turn into the snitch? Let's try Sano here. And we'll do another police academy now that I have the money. Um, let's do Subaki. Okay. I could do another police academy. Let's do it. Uh, Smith. Except, cool. This is, this, uh, shift B is going to be stacked. And I'm out of money. I like how, I like how that's coming out of my wallet because City Hall sucks. Literally, the issue that the, what we should be doing is arresting the members of City Hall because they're literally worse than the criminals in this town. Christopher G. Sand, Jack, some black gangster hit one of our shops. It's too much for us to deal with right now. Can you help? I feel like we could help. A gangster hit one of our shops. It's too much for us to deal with. Can you help? I mean, I feel like that's something. Uh, I don't want to help Sand, but I don't want Sand to kill my family. So sure. I have to send three. I. Uh, Oh, sorry about that. I had to mute again to blow my nose again, and I took an allergy pill. I don't know about you guys, but my allergies have been crazy bad this week. Um, okay. If it randomly sounds like my mic cuts out, it's because I muted it to sneeze. <laughs> All right. Um, gosh, I wish I could only, I don't, I have to send three. Is this going to take all day? I feel like I'm the only person in the city that's trying to help the city and that is stressing me out and kind of pissing me off. I'm not going to lie. I think I might refuse. I'm refusing it. Um, oh no. Why did you sister have to get married today? This is why you let people know ahead of time if you're going to be taking a day off. Damn it. Um, excuse me. Sorry. 
Um, that sucks. That actually sucks. I'm actually genuinely depressed. So what, so what happens with that investigation? Does it just failed now? Did, do I get another chance? I don't know. I don't know. That's one of the things you deal with going into a Let's Play Blind. At least you guys are getting genuine gameplay here. Non-scripted. Uh, the situation is more serious than we thought requesting reinforcements. Yeah, I kind of figured this would happen. So take Yancey and then Sabaki, Asiano, and that'll be enough. Looks like we're getting SWAT back. Oh yeah, I upgraded them. I get to use SWAT twice. Actually, is there anything else I can upgrade? What's this? All right, I need to wait more, wait on frames for that. Um, uh, fair city hall. I could ask for stuff. I'm gonna ask for everything. May as well. They're probably not gonna give me anything. Uh, police station. What are my slots looking like? I'm full. What's backlog? Oh, this is stuff that this is, I've helped people out with and decided not to help people out with. Mm. I, I could fire this guy because he's always tired. Let's see if it gives me an option to fire him legally. He's too old. Came to work drunk, didn't come to work. He's too old. I think I can fire him legally. So we'll fire him. And let's hire a new detective. I guess James Jackson. Shoot. What slot? What slot? Uh, shift A has three detectives. Shift B also has three detectives. And it's got my two two good detectives um i think i'll hire it for shift b because i have case here which i haven't even got to put him on an investigation yet but i won't need to send in both of these detectives with case because he's so good but here i'll need to send two guys put at least two detectives on one case so shift a you for shift a Okay, cool. Well, we got some stuff done. What's going on here? Jack, oh my gosh, slow down, slow down. Failed, Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city. Oh my gosh, I tried. She had a wedding to go to, dude. She had a wedding. What am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do, dude? What, what? It wouldn't let me put a different detective on the case. I tried, I tried. Jack, we have something going down today at courthouse at 1830. Okay, I'm going to write that down. 1830. Got it. Uh, we wouldn't want any policeman crashing the party. I think 6,000 should be enough for such a quest request. That actually could help me out um, because City Hall is not going to help out the police station. I have to use my own money from my savings account. So... Um, We'll see how severe the crime is, but I might turn the turn turn a blind eye on that one. Um, okay, from City Hall, Jonathan Beasley is today a hero, having pulled a drowning Senator Wallace Green from the river. The municipality, how do you say that? Municipality, 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 on the senator's recommendation, has decided to reward the outstanding officer. The ceremony is scheduled for the July twenty seventh and the event will be open to the press, as well as Mr. Green's family, who wish to personally thank the police. Make sure nothing unusual happens to this officer so he will be able to attend the ceremony or receive his medal without complications. Nice job, Beasley. Holy crap, this is, you are a bright star in a sky of buttholes, dude. Today has been rough. They hate the police. They're, they're, Everybody hates the police, and you have 
Beasley, I'm just proud of you. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a really weird way of saying it. <laughs> but, uh, noise complaint. Noise complaint at the sawmill. Wait, what time is it? Not 18.30 yet. Okay. An elderly man called the police station reporting that terrible screams have been coming from the sawmill for over an hour. The hell is going on? What's a guy got to do to get a little sleep around here? You'd better go check it out. Okay. Well, maybe they're cutting wood. It's kind of what people do at the sawmill. Kochi, Austin, and... Smith. I kind of want to send three. We'll send three. Do I send three? Yeah, we'll send three. Please nobody die. All right, we got attempted murder over here. Oh, we got him. What? I'll be right back. I gotta blow my nose. And a civilian died. What did I do wrong? I sent four people. I don't even remember what this was. Who died? I sent these guys somewhere else, I thought. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Who's dead? I need to hire a new officer pronto. That's who died. It's not going to tell me. I don't even remember what they were responding to. <sighs> All right. Life goes on, guys. Life goes on. Mr. Boyd. I manage a large fleet of vehicles, and I wanted to organize a workshop for my new drivers. They have to learn how to behave on the road, so your patrolmen will never even need to look twice at our cars. Please send three of your best officers. They'll ride all day with my people and explain the intricacies of traffic flow and police monitoring. I've heard about... Okay. Okay, I see what's going on here. I've heard about the problems your department faces, particularly your abs obsolete fleet of police vehicles. So in return, I would be happy to donate a paddy wagon. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So what's going on here? I'm not stupid. They're pretending like they, they're, they're pretending. And what they want to do is they want to learn what the police look for so that they can avoid the police so they can transport their drugs, guns, whatever, what have you, but he can give me a paddy wagon. But on the other hand, I literally have one officer and one of I just died. And why do I have time for this? I might do that. I might do that once my officers come back. Gosh, who died? Did two die? Did both of these guys die? Did both Asano and Tsubaki die? I thought I put them on another assignment and that's why they were grayed out. Oh my gosh, this, she was supposed to be my, she was supposed to be my snitch. Oh no. I'm never gonna get over this. Okay, what's going on at the sawmill? The sawmill is surrounded by a nine foot fence and the gates are locked from the inside. Shouts can be heard from within. Ram the gate with a police cruiser. Break the gate open. Knock on the gate. Well, we'll just knock on the gate. 
A man is threatening a young boy with a circular saw. The man is screaming hysterically. Holy crap, I didn't think this was going to be what happened. Raise a gun at the man and order him to release the boy. Pounce on the criminal. Tank aim at the criminal and shoot to kill. Um, I don't... I don't think it's shoot to kill time yet. We're going to raise the gun. I don't need anybody else to die today. Oh, thank God. I'm so confused by what... I need a paddy wagon, I think. What crime were they... I'm sorry, I'm still on the death thing. What crime were they... Did they go to where they ended up dying? Was it the one where we needed a paddy wagon and I sent more people? Was that the one? But a paddy wagon is just like a van that for transporting multiple prisoners at once. What time is it? Well, there's going to be a crime coming up at 1830 for sand. That I'm probably not going to be able to respond to. And I might feel better about that if I trick myself into thinking that I had no other choice because I didn't have any officers available. And I think they'll be safe and they won't die. Okay. I'm going to regret that. I'm so going to regret that. There's a robbery at the drugstore. An emergency call was received from an all-night drugstore. An addict is attempting to gain unlawful entry. Entry. He violently threatened a female pharmacist, demanding she open the cabinet. Well, I don't have any cops. I'm not just sending one cop. I don't think anybody's going to be back in time. This person's going to get away. Oh, my gosh. Sand. Yeah, they got away. We'll get them. No! What do I have to do, dude? This gameplay is cursed. This episode's cursed. Oh my gosh, why did somebody have to die? Why did you have to shoot them? They weren't even cops coming, you idiot. Homicide of the courthouse. Good. During sentencing a serial killer by the name of Albert Ramirez seized a gun from the holster of the court bailiff and after shooting several witnesses barricaded himself inside the courtroom. A young uh, stenographer has been taken hostage. What's a stenographer? Is that the people that maybe type out the transcripts of the court hearing? I'm not sure. Um, oh, this is a big deal here. I don't know how many cops I can send, but I only have three. Wait. Wait. Is this what's going on? Is this sand? 1830. No way. He wants me to turn my eye from this? How? How could... It's literally the courthouse. I can't. I, I can't. I am failing this let's play. This is a cursed gameplay. Cursed let's play. Are you done? Oh, thank God they're already done. Chief, we rode along and went over the basics with their empty headed drivers. We're done for the day. Meanwhile, Mr. Sand dropped off a brand new paddy wagon. It's a nice piece of equipment. Equipment too good for the idiots. We'll be packing inside. Well, we got a paddy wagon. It's something. <sighs> this entire day has just been a star filled sky of buttholes. At least, do I get them back? Okay, we got a paddy wagon now. At least I got them back quick. I was afraid they'd be gone all day. I don't know what's going to happen at this courthouse. I need to send more people, though. Okay, good. The situation is more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. Wait, where are my guys? I could retreat. I think I might retreat. Well, I thought I had people. I can't exit out. I have. 
All right, retreat then. Okay. Well, at least we get some money. I'm over it. Did anybody die? I mean, they already killed. They had already killed a bunch of civilians before I even was notified. The stenographer is dead. That sucks. Yeah, this is getting a little out of hand, guys. <laughs> this is a curse. This is the cursed episode. All right, assault, residential area. Emergency medical services arrived on call for a man complaining of chest pains while they were treating him. The man suddenly attacked one of the EMTs. What is going on today? Shouting wildly about the global pharmaceutical conspiracy. The other, okay, topical. The other personal manage, personnel managed to escape and called the police. I don't have anybody available right now. One second. Where, why aren't these guys, are they just not available for the rest of the day? Cause they rode around in the truck for a little bit. Like what? All right, we'll send you guys. It's getting late. This day's almost over. Oh my gosh. Cursed. Cursed. This is the cursed episode. I might not even upload this. Everything has gone downhill today. So uh, these two both died. So I need to hire a new snitch. I can't. Why can't I do it to people that are busy? I'm, I'm confused. Oh, I can. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get Purdy in an academy. Let's hire a snitch. Can I have Purdy be a snitch too? Or... I kind of like the idea of that. But she might be busy. Maybe Huang? Austin Smith, Yancey, uh, Kochi. I don't know. Let's do Huang. Let's have a way, hire him to maybe be in a snitch for us. And any more police academies? No, let's save some money for the other uh, shift. Okay. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, okay. Assault residential area. Okay. Let's pay attention to this. I don't, I can't screw this up. The door to the apartment is locked from the inside and unintelligible screams can be heard from within. Enter an adjoining apartment and climb over the balcony. Break down the door. Knock on the door. I'm thinking knock on the door. The victim is bound and lying on the floor. The assailant is sitting on top of him, waving a syringe filled with an unknown substance. A bottle of bleach is on the floor nearby. What the hell? The victim is bound and lying on the floor. The assailant is sitting on top of him. So he has a syringe filled with bleach? Sir, we're on your side. Tell us about this conspiracy. Oh, that's right. This is the, okay. Point the gun at the man and order him to lie face down on the floor. Drop the syringe now. I think I might maybe play along with him. I'm not really sure what to do here. I'm not. I'm not trained for this. I'm going to just go with my gut. The man jumps up and grabs some papers from the table. Everything is written down right here. All the evidence you'll need. They created these medications to control our minds. This actually isn't that far fetched compared to some of the things I've heard recently from people. The man, blah, 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 blah. Well, the, well, the Freeburg police will begin an investigation right away. Let's talk down at the station, quit ranting and release the doctor immediately. Strike the man with the high sick. Yeah, we'll do this one. All right. I feel like I did that right. Glad nobody died. Oh, one final bright star in the sky of buttholes to end it. Anything else going to happen? Are all my cops going to get bombed at the police station right at the end of the day? No. 
Okay. Well, that's surprising. Each of your employees receives a weekly salary. The ones who are still alive anyway. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. But if you bury the paperwork, you can pull in some money from any deceased officer's salaries. So long as they're alive and healthy on paper, City Hall will keep printing perfectly healthy paychecks. Well, that's very corrupt. I'm definitely going to be declaring dead on them. Money can only get you so much in life. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This was the the cursed episode. This is an anti-climax for my Let's Play series. This is the police. I'm just glad that I didn't have to go through it alone and you guys are here. Uh, can I get some RIPs in chat? And um, hashtag curse Let's Play. Uh, Hopefully, you know, we get some more brighter stars tomorrow and less sky dark buttholes. See you guys.